Hey everyone, and welcome to the video. So I have recently seen the IGN gameplay, and I know I'm doing a double upload today, so sorry for all the Saints Row content, but um, it only came to my attention after I uploaded my previous video. Um, so I took a look at the IGN gameplay, and I've got to say, overall, it looks pretty good. I can't really say I have any major complaints. Um, insurance fraud looks as fun as ever, you know, nice and fun. Gameplay looks nice and fluid. Um, the, the, uh, wingsuiting also looks really nice in the gameplay show, and I also say whoever's playing the game this time was a lot better than the Game Informer gameplay, because they seem to actually know how to play a game, like, in the Game Informer, it looked like they were trying to be cinematic, and they were really stiff, where, instead of actually how people really play games, um, but the gameplay looked good, yeah, it looked like they were kind of a bit more flowy, if that makes sense, it flowed better, flew better, I'm not sure, either way, gameplay looks smooth and cool. Um, the activities also look good. I like the toxic disposal one personally. I think that's going to be a really cool idea. I like the idea that you have to avoid crazy people in the streets of Santo Aliso. I also saw a Santo Aliso row reference, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, nice to see them always representing the row where they started, Humble Beginners. Um, yeah, it all looks really good. Honestly, the gameplay wise, I think it looks really fun. Um, it's not overly wacky. One thing I, I, I'll be honest, I wasn't a big fan of, but it's not a big issue. It's one of those, like, things that's personal preference. I didn't like the radioactive guys. That kind of threw me off a little. I was a bit like, hmm, is that a bit over my tone limit? But then I thought, you know what, it's gonna be fun. There's no, there's no issue of having a few fun gameplay gimmicks in there, even if it's not the most realistic or quote-unquote gangster, so I don't really mind it that much. Either way, yeah, it all looked really, really good. Um... Insurance fraud specifically, I like the new adrenaline mode where you explode any time you hit anything. I think that looks super fun, and I think if you can rack up a really good, like, chain of people around you, it's going to be a blast. If you can get, like, a chain of cars lined up, uh, saying, like, that big bridge in the middle of Santo Aliso near um, Birmingham Island, that that's going to be fantastic. Like, I think that's going to be really cool to see you just, um, like, go from car to car, basically. Um, and, you know, you can rack up all the points you really want. Um, yeah, I've got to say, the gameplay looked good. Gunplay looked really good as well. It seems that they did up the damage. I'm not sure if I'm making it up. Maybe they just upgraded the weapons, but damage seemed to be a little higher. Um, you know, that's always good. You know, I'm glad they showed off a bit more of the Criminal Ventures, because I think it's a cool concept, but I think, and, and I don't mean to be too rude here, in its original trailer, it was quite poorly explained. It told us the very basics, but... Quite honestly, I think we needed a more in-depth look of how big a part of this game it's going to be. And, um, yeah, it seems like they have plenty of phases when it comes to, you know, levels of the whole gameplay aspect. And, and overall, I'm pretty pleased. I think it looks quite good, and I think Saints Row right now is looking pretty damn good. Um... Gameplay looks a lot more polished, in my opinion. The streets, this is one thing I noticed, and if you've watched my, um, you know, five things I would change about the reboot video, I think it was in that one. I spoke about how empty the streets were, car-wise and traffic-wise, but no, they, they seem to have upped it in, um, the gameplay I saw. There seemed to be plenty of cars on the roads, which is great, this is exactly what I wanted. Um, another thing, the lighting looks fantastic. Every, uh, cutscene and gameplay, the, the game just looked graphically really nice. Um, whether you like the style or not, I don't really care. Um, you know, the style is, is for me. I, I don't hate it. I don't particularly love it. It, it doesn't it doesn't look too different to what I'm used to. Um, you know, I, I don't really care about the style that much. But um, yeah, it looks fairly decent. The graphics look really nice. Gameplay looks really smooth. No real fa frame dips or anything during explosions, which is always a primary concern when it comes to games being released. I hate frame dips. It's one of my personal pet peeves. But no, it, it all looks really, really good. Um... If you haven't seen the gameplay, uh, it's probably on screen right now, but if I can't get it on my screen right now, it's going to be in a link in the description, which I think might just be a bit easier for me anyway. Um, so if you want to watch it, feel free. But yeah, the, the new IGN gameplay, it looked fantastic, and it gave us a bit of insight into the game. I think the whole game looks more polished, more fluid. It looks more fun. Um, and I mean, it already looked pretty fun to me, so I'm, I'm pretty hyped about it. I liked that they really spoke about in depth on the Criminal Ventures, and overall, I'm pretty pleased. So, let me know what you think. What do you think of the IGN gameplay? I personally think it was very good, and I think, um, the game itself looks good, which is great. Uh, yeah, thank you all for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one, guys.